Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. It's early morning on Tuesday the 25th of April. Anzac Day 2023. And as a result of this, we have some special event bus services, 620 and 621, operating to the dawn service in Kings Park, which already happened like three hours ago, but for, they're still running until about 9.30 a.m. So, they do run every year, but I've never filmed them before, so we're going to check it out. And of course, there is also a lot of road closures and deviations throughout the city. However, it's very similar to the Christmas pageant deviations because it's just St. George's Terrace and Malcolm Streets which are closed up to King's Park. So all the deviations are basically the same. The, the, the main buses along St. George's Terrace and Adelaide Terrace just operate up along Wellington Street instead. Um, and, or down on Riverside Drive. So the last time I did say that only happens once a year, but no, it actually happens twice a year because it does happen today as well so I'm not gonna film all that again I might just write it myself later on but there's no point in filming it because I made a massive one hour video on that in December with the Christmas pageant disruptions so I'll just link that in the corner and you can watch it to see every single deviation that buses did at the time and that are doing now but otherwise we're here at Elizabeth Key bus station I'm gonna head up to Kings Park now so there's only three special event bus services, which I'll tell you about as we walk up now. So there is Route 620, which operated between Perth Busport and Kings Park, just Duma House stop, a quick shuttle to get everyone there for the dawn service. It only went from 4.30 to 5.30 a.m. And, but now it's doing return services every single minute, every minute, once a minute, the bus departs, which is crazy. There's so many buses back to Perth bus route from Kings Park until 9 a.m. And the 621 is a shuttle within Kings Park, which is so cool because buses never drive on the little streets in Kings Park, um, to get you between the different memorial spots. Also operating until 9.30 a.m., so we'll go and look that one out. And finally, there was the 622, which was not even in Perth, it was in Fremantle, and there was only three services operating from the station to the memorial site on a hill. But that was all it. 4 and 5 a.m. so and it was a very short route so there's I don't think anyone is gonna film that in the dark so we're only here for 620 and 621 but also um, to get yeah so to get to all of those 620 services there obviously had to be train services so what happened all train lines except the Thorny line L to Thorny <laughs> had um, early morning services operating from 3.50 a.m., which is like seriously the middle of the night in the dark. Um, about four or five services on each line operated to get you to the city in time for the 6 a.m. dawn service, including the 901 and 902 train replacements due to the middle of the airport line shutdown, which is so funny. Train replacement buses at like High Wycombe at 3 a.m. That's so weird. Um, but yeah, not Thornton, which is so, so stupid. Thornton doesn't get it, but train replacement buses do. But there was no other suburban connecting bus services, so you would obviously have to drive to get on those. I'm not sure how busy they were. I wasn't gonna wake up to ride on them. It's just way too early. Um, in the middle of the night, basically, <laughs> you could even just stay up from the previous day and already catch them not long after. Um, yeah, so that's how those operated to get you here in the night. And then they all went in the bus into the dawn service. Now I'm here at 8 a.m. But this is just to record all the special buses that are happening. But of course, we must pay our respects to the Anzac people, to the war efforts. Um, which day is for to commemorate that. N not everyone goes to the dawn service because it's so early and cold and it was rainy, but I will now transition you to a full like ceremony at the State War Memorial where you can uh, listen to the usual Anzac like um, music or song and then 
have a minute of silence as I will post this on Anzac Day to commemorate the soldiers. Then we'll come back and check out the the bus services after we pay our respects together. There it is. They're running articulated buses from all over the city, including carrying up B12s. Um, <laughs> they're complete. They're completely empty, though. Imagine if 3,000 three came out refurbed. Oh. Yeah, they're um, ready to come out though. And they just say "lest we forget" on the front instead of the actual destination. So we're almost here now, they all start to the top of the hill here at Juma House. 
there's supposedly a row of them waiting. Purple cat's just gone up there. It is the only cat to operate on public holidays like Anzac Day and Good Friday and Christmas. All the other ones don't. And it just operates pretty much where the red cat goes because of these road closures. Also, we just walked past the premier, Mark McGowan. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe yeah. he was like, good morning. Yeah. He was just so chill about it. He just, yeah, so we actually just walked past him. He was coming down the road back from like King's Park. And I, I didn't even realize for like five seconds it was him. I was like, huh. I was like, and I was like, wait, what? Hi. <laughs> It's just insane, it's not something that just happens. <laughs> yeah, here we go. 3016. Oh, there's another one right behind it anyway. Departing. B12. Empty, zero. No one uses them and they're departing every minute from here. Crazy. Now, the next one's just a normal articulated B8, but then we have another B12 coming in. And another one. Two more in a row. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Let's just stand back a bit, like, from the stop because we don't want to get on yet. And we'll just get on the next one, which is the B12. And ride it over the special route to Perth Busport along, Miller, like, oh, down here to Milligan Street. Oh, nice. Well, that part of oh, it's, it's 30.33. That's the Prototype. one always around Junalop. I've not been on any prototype off it. I've been in that one way too many times. There it is. 3033. Here's some B12s. White numbers. Even though it's not refurbished, I don't know what that is. And another one right there. Standing in the back. We'll catch it. Isn't 3033 should be departing now anyway. Should be departing now anyway because there's only like it should be coming every minute, so. Yeah. Okay. 3033 is finally departing. Now we have the two B12s in a row, 3013 and 3014, to do the next few services. Bro, what? It just changed to not in service. Because there's literally no one on it. Oh, we're getting in 3014, okay. Let's get on
quits, I guess. Yeah, apparently there's only one more service, and there's like 10 minutes to go. Mm -hmm. It's just like, where were the bus allocations? Yeah, what happens? Like, yeah, when they mention me? Yeah, what happens? They're just like, oh, no, I'm not going to cut me out. It's not going to cut me out. sign here in the middle of the city for some old route 32 we just ran all the way well walked and ran all the way from the bus port back up to Kings Park in about 10-15 minutes to catch the 621 which is actually running until 9.30 9.25 10 minutes left so we'll get the last service of the day well last service ever <laughs> for the year and just travel the, the quick trip down through Kings Park and probably just back up if it will still run because they actually they changed the frequency of the 620 to like every five minutes because no one was using it I don't know where all the buses which were scheduled to do it went but there was only one every five and now we're back here exactly where we were so yeah now I don't know hopefully they don't do the same thing to the 621 we still have to walk all the way in practically where the blue cat and 935 stops are, but neither of those are running into King's Park today. But it's actually in the other side of the roundabout from there, near the coke stop, so we'll see that in a second. Let's go in. Was this meant to say 9.30 p.m.? I think it was meant to say a.m., because on the website it said they come here after 9.30 a.m., but yeah. Anyway, that's the 935 King's Park stop. Now the actual stop is just over here. Cross here. Yeah, it's a bit weird because it's 9:20, so there should still be services for 10 more minutes. But we just saw TP3308 exiting the park. We couldn't see it anywhere. Now, hopefully, there's still another bus here to catch. Yeah, it should be in here. Let's go. Here's the bus, 2980 arrived. It actually is here, luckily. It says not in service, though. We'll get on board. In here? Okay. I think it's in here. Let's go inside. Yeah, it's very weird to just see a bus driving around Kings Park like this. Where's it going? Does it come in here? Wait, no, never mind. It's just turning around over there. Ah, let's get on board. Oh, the last trip, just in time. Oh my god, I can't believe we ran all the way to be going this way around the roundabout because I always come from that side. <laughs> My eyeballs actually feel like they're like burning. 
980 arrived at Kings Park, May Drive, Parkland. It, I, it, it's still meant to do a return service back, but I think they just I think they just ignored that. They basically said goodbye. This is the last trip kicked us off. Actually, maybe it is, but 
I don't know, it's just saying not in service as well. Don't even have the displays on. Get the fun display! <laughs> just completely empty as well, but... Luckily the purple can operates from just the other side of the trees there, so we can get on and also ride its deviation back. Here we go, you won't see a bus here in Kings Park for a while now. Departing. No, it's a bit of a walk up there. I'll keep filming till it's gone for good. There it goes. Gone. Okay. Let's walk to the purple cat now and ride its deviation. Here we are now. Got to the cat bus stop on Thomas Street, rather close to the May Drive terminus. Now, I've actually never used the purple cats on or off from Thomas Street. I always just pass through. And it barely anyone does, but it's a really cool cat stop. It's on the main road with three lanes here. So yeah, we'll just get on this one and hopefully it'll still do the deviation so that we can ride that too. Only only cats around on public holidays on Anzac Day and yeah. It's so strange that all the other ones don't, but this one does. But that, yeah, cool, let's ride it. Coming in about four minutes. Here comes Purple Cat to Thomas Street for the first time. I'm actually gonna get on a long stop here. Hail the bus. 2673. Let's see if it'll still do the deviation. Oh, someone's sitting in the front. Come on. There goes the Purple Cat. That's, I think that's the first one of the day that didn't deviate. Ah. Uh, yeah, 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 you see, so here it says 9.30 a.m., so yeah, that was actually, and it's 9.50, so that was either the first or second one to come here now. Sadly, we didn't get the deviation, that's okay, and this is still broke. Okay, and here's another one of the polls. Seriously, how, how dumb do you have to be that you have one job and you ride p.m., like, <laughs> so stupid. Anyway. Typos be like. Yeah. Should just get a marker and cover that over. 935 is running here again now because. I might take the sticker off because it's inaccurate. It's after 930. Yeah, exactly. I'm going to take one. Just take them off. Invalid now. Took the sticker off because it's showing inaccurate information and it's not needed anymore because after 930. Put it in my bag now. Thanks for watching this video everyone and lest we forget to all the Anzac soldiers this is a perfect place to end at the top of the Malcolm Street Hill as we look at the Australian flags up there and yeah that's about it here we go We'll end right to the top here, the Fraser Avenue, Malcolm Street and Kings Park Road intersection. Lest we forget to them all.